Hello guys, my name is Mohamed Ali and welcome back to Coding Cafe. So now in this tutorial, we will finally allow a user to create a group chat uh, or you can say a group. So in that group, a uh, user will be able to chat with each other from different areas and or you can say from around the world. I mean different people can contact with each other and exchange messages with each other uh, in each specific group. So let's do that. So first of all, we will create here uh, an option. When you click here, then here will be an option that is create group. Okay. So let's first add that and then we will work on it further. So here, uh, close this settings activity and now go to the main activity. And also we have this menu options menu.xml. And this is our I mean these are our options and now we need to add one further option so copy this and let's paste that here and change this to create group and then change this ID to main create group option okay and now go to the main activity and here we have this uh, own option item selected so we need to copy an if statement and then pass that here and change the ID of this to main underscore create group option okay and once the user click on that option then we will call a method here you will create that now in this video tutorial so that will be request new group and now let's create this method here okay so this is our method and now inside this method by using an alert dialog we will ask the user, I mean, we will ask the user to enter the group name. And once the user enter that, we will store it inside the Firebase database. And we will retrieve it on our group fragment. So we can say alert dialog dot builder. Let's name this as builder equals to new alert dialog dot builder. And it will be on the, I mean, it is on the main activity. So we can say main activity dot this make sure to put a semicolon here now we need to uh, I mean to uh, add I mean this dialog box we need to style this to add some styling to it so you can simply click on this value styles.xml and here after this we can say style the name will be alert dialog remove this whole okay just alert dialog and the parent will be you can see this uh, best dot team a combat light dialog okay select this one and click enter and now close this and now here you can see uh, this best dot theme and also here at the top this theme turns red okay these are not the errors okay so don't worry about that when you close the android studio and restart it then these red line these red color will uh, be disappeared okay so these are not the errors so just ignore this so now here uh, i mean these are in the new android studio i'm using the new version of android studio so in the new version it turns red and then again it turns uh, I mean these red lines are turned green and whatever okay so ignore that okay so now here uh, uh, in our request new group uh, after this uh, main activity dot this put a semicolon and then we can say r dot style dot alert dialog and after that we can say builder dot set title so the title for this will be let's say enter group name so this will be the title for this dialog box and then we need an edit text field here to get the group name from a user so here we can say final edit text and we can call this as group name field equals to new edit text 
and we are on the main activity so the context is our main activity dot this and let's give a hint to the user for that so we can say dot set hint and the hint will be let's say for example we just tell, tell the user that is for example coding cafe okay so the user has to write any group name to it that is let's say friend zone coding cafe and anything i mean any group name he want to write this is just a hint okay to the user when we run it then you will understand it more clearly then we can set the view uh, for this i mean this uh, edit text so we, so we can say set view group name field so now this edit text will appear on our uh, alert dialog now we have to add two buttons the create and cancel group button okay so we can say build dot set positive button and the name of this button will be create comma new dialog and you can see this dialog inter interface dot on click listener so if a user click on this create button then what will happen first make sure to put a semicolon here so if a user click on that then here first of all we have to uh, get the uh, input from that field and we have to store it inside this string type variable which we are which is group name equals to group name field dot get text dot to string so we uh, get the string from that edit text field and we are storing inside this group name string type variable and now we have to check it either if it is empty or not so we can set text to ils dot is empty and it is the group name so if the group name is empty then we will just tell the user in a toast message there is please write write group name and in the else statement i mean if the user provide the group name then we will store it inside the firebase database inside this else statement we will write the code for that but first of all the second button will be the cancel button so for that uh, after this we can create another button let's copy paste this and for that here we will paste it here and change this set positive first of all remove these two if statement and also this group name from here okay and yeah now change this to set negative button and it will be the cancel button so we can say cancel and the remaining will be the same and here by using this dialog interface object we can cancel this so we can say dialog interface dot cancel and after that we have to uh, show this dialog box i mean for both options so we can say builder dot uh, show which is this one and yeah now inside this else statement we can call a method which is create new group and now we will create this method so create method on the main activity and this is the create new group method now here we will write the code to store it the group name in the firebase database so we can say root ref dot child and now this is another uh, parent child for the groups okay for all the groups that a user will create so groups dot child and now here we need uh, the group name so we will pass here you can see we are calling that method from the else statement so we will pass the group name to it so you can simply write group name okay and you can see here it is this red wall click on that and add string as first parameter to the method okay which we created and you can see the string group name it is added here successfully you can also type it manually okay that is string group name and you can pass that group name from here so we are sending this group name as a parameter to this uh, method which we call it here create new group so yeah that's it and now here we can say group name so this will be the key value i mean uh, the group name will be a key value 
a specific unique and uh, then we can set our set value and the value for it will be null for now and then we can say add value and sorry add on complete listener new on complete listener because we have to tell the user that you are uh, i mean if the task is successful then you will tell the user that a group is created successfully so we can say task dot is successful and here we can say toast and before that we will tell the group name so we can say group name plus and is created successfully okay which is the group name group is created successfully so yeah that's it and now let's run the app so our app is running now successfully and let's go to the database let's minimize the user's node and let's test it so click here and you can see this create a group option click on that and you can see uh, the dialog box appears here and now the hint is also available that is for example coding cafe so let's say i'm going to create a group by the name coding cafe let's say so coding cafe and click on create and you can see the groups node is created here coding cafe group is created successfully if i expand this then coding cafe is the key value which is the name of that group and this is the null value for now now let's try it again let's add another group create group and let's type let's say the new group name will be friend zone let's say create and you can see another group is created successfully let's create another one just for the testing and let's say it will be for the android developers create okay so it is created successfully and if i click on create and then i click on cancel then you can see the dialog box uh, cancel okay disappeared so now what we will do in the next video tutorial first of all we will display all these groups on our groups fragment in the next video tutorial okay we will uh, retrieve these uh, groups and we will display it here on our groups active uh, groups fragment and then uh, the user uh, will be send messages basically this will be a uh, parent for the uh, users i mean that is inside each uh, group uh, each specific group uh, there will be that is what I uh, mean to say is that is under this group and our developers there will be different user who will uh, ask question from each other about the Android things I mean Android apps Android uh, games whatever and then we have another group coding cafe so let's say here people will ask that either coding cafe has uh, uploaded a new video or not I mean I hope you understand it okay just for example I'm giving I'm giving you examples so we will uh, do that things in the next video tutorial so if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel thumbs up for this video and to all the viewers please like this video so that I can at least feel happy uh, take care of yourself and yeah bye for now